Hey, I'm back. Sooner rather than later. Today I'm going to be showing you a few nude lipsticks that I've recently acquired. MUA lipstick. And it's in the shade 11. So there you can see what it looks like against my skin. And now I'll put it on. Okay, so this is what it looks like with a bit of lip liner on and this lipstick cost me one pound. There was an offer on at Superdrug for um, three for the price of two, so I actually did get three MUA products. This one went on quite easily. I didn't have a problem with it. It just kind of glided on. Um, so yeah, this is MUA in the shade 11. Okay, so next I have a Revlon lipstick. It's called Mink and it's in the shade 671. I always like to start with the lipstick, just in case I don't actually need to use a lip liner. Most people do start with the lip liner first. If I know for definite that I'm gonna need a lip liner, then I will start with the lip liner. But if not, then I'll just start with the lipstick. Put it on. Okay, so this is Mink. I don't even feel like I've got anything on my lips, which is, is good in a way, actually. It's not too pinky. It blends in more with my um, natural lip colour and I'm looking forward to wearing it more. I'll give you a close up. The next lipstick I have is Kate by uh, Kate Moss for Rimmel London. And this is in the shade 19 and it looks like that. Um, and the swatch is the third one, this one here. I really like the packaging of this. It's got pink writing on it. Kind of looks like that. The one thing I noted while trying this on in store was the texture. Mm, and it feels different. So I'd first have to check this out in the mirror before I can see in a bigger mirror, just to see the bigger picture, before I can decide on whether or not I need a lip liner. So I have chosen to put on a lip liner, just a little bit of the exact same one. This lip liner is along the dark purple lines and it just kind of gives me the opportunity to go even more intense in the centre of my lips. So this is what Kate looks like um, in the shade 19. So this, this is Amorous here. Amorous, Kate, Mink by Rimmel London, and the MUA one. MAC lipsticks always tend to have a really gorgeous scent to them. Um, so I've just used this lip liner once again. This is a, by Beauty Forever. If I can try and find the shade, it's kind of rubbed off the pencil, so it's not too clear for me at the moment. But if I can try and find um, the actual name, then I will let you know. But if not, then you can definitely find them really cheaply and in abundance in shops. Uh, even if it's not the exact one, just kind of get a dark lip liner that you prefer. Um, and that kind of you like. So this is Amorous once again, um, but in this time I've used a lip liner. It's just your normal MAC, uh, it's just your normal MAC lipstick that you'd usually get for around $14.50. Lord knows if they're going to be increasing their prices in the new year. I don't know. Hopefully not because then um, <laughs> means we're going to be spending more money, isn't it? Because we can never get enough of MAC. And the swatches. I also did get a Revlon lip gloss, which looks like this. And if I wanted more of a, a glossy look, obviously the name says it all, I'd reach for the lip gloss. So this is the, this is Amorous with a glaze, a lip gloss glaze on top. That's the thing I love about these lipsticks that you can just gloss over and it doesn't really look over the top. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe and comment, um, all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video, take care, bye.